Welcome to the Get Fed podcast, where we bring you the very best of our popular Get Fed series. Join Good Catholics Rachel Schrader Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays to learn about the rich culture, history, and traditions of the Catholic Church, one bite at a time. Why didn't Our Lady pray the full rosary at Lourdes? Why did she only pray the glory be with Bernadette? Bernadette knelt before this strange and beautiful lady. The lady was dressed in white, with a white veil and a blue girdle, and a golden rose on each foot. On her right arm, she carried a white rosary with a golden chain. Bernadette had her rosary in her hands, and the lady took hold of her own as well. Bernadette tried to begin the prayers, but couldn't lift her hand to make the sign of the cross. Then, when the lady signed herself, Bernadette was able to do the same. They prayed the rosary together, there in the little grotto of Massabiel. But Bernadette noticed that the lady only prayed the glory be. She was silent during the Our Father and Hail Mary. There is a very important reason why. Both the Our Father and Hail Mary presuppose that the reciter is a sinner. Forgive us our trespasses. Pray for us sinners. Furthermore, it would have been odd for the Blessed Mother to salute herself in the Hail Mary. Exalting herself is something this humble virgin never did. The Glory Be, however, is a prayer that Our Lady prayed in word, thought, and action at every moment of her life. She continues to proclaim it now as she reigns in heaven. Our Lady's selective recitation of the rosary prayers thus offered a clue to her identity. She would reveal it in a later apparition when she said, I am the Immaculate Conception. She was the Immaculate Virgin Mary, the only one of us creatures who was not a sinner, the one who committed no trespasses. Significantly, the doctrine of the Immaculate Conception, though always believed and held by the Church, had been solemnly defined less than four years before the Lord's apparitions. Pope Pius IX had promulgated the doctrine in 1854 in his apostolic constitution, Inefabilis Deus. Let's read what he wrote in the encyclical. Accordingly, by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, for the honor of the holy and undivided Trinity, for the glory and adornment of the Virgin Mother of God, for the exaltation of the Catholic faith, and for the furtherance of the Catholic religion, by the authority of Jesus Christ our Lord, of the blessed apostles Peter and Paul, and by our own, we declare, pronounce, and define that the doctrine which holds that the Blessed Virgin Mary, in the first instance of her conception, by a singular grace and privilege granted by Almighty God, in view of the merits of Jesus Christ, the Savior of the human race, was preserved free from all stain of original sin, is a doctrine revealed by God, and therefore to be believed firmly and constantly by all the faithful. Join us next time for another serving of the Get Fed podcast.